Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Energy Sports. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a question I get quite often on this channel, and that is how do I unlock the limiter, the speed limiter on these e-bikes? So in today's video, I'm quickly gonna share with you why they do that. Why do they put limiters on these? And it is important to know that. And then I'm also gonna share with you how you can unlock it. Really easy to do, there's two ways to do it, and I'll talk about both of those, and I'll actually show you one in this video right now. So let's get right to it, let's go. All right, so really quickly, what is a limiter? Well, a limiter is the, a way for the e-bikes to be able to sell to you without a special license. So in the United States, and I don't know about other countries, but I know in the United States, every state has a law where if you ha go, if you purchase a, a bike like this and you go a certain speed without pedaling, so you're using just throttle, you have to have a special license if you go a little bit faster. So now, like I said before, every single state is a little bit different. So uh, one state might be 20 miles an hour, another one might be 25 or 28 miles, I believe is the fastest state. And then other countries might not have a limiter at all. So when you're purchasing an e-bike, something to consider is, is it manufactured or distributed in the United States? Because if it is, they're going to set it more than likely at a max speed out of the box at about 20 miles per Hour, almost on the dot you could just pretty much guarantee that if you lift the back end crank it all the way on the highest setting it's gonna go 20 miles an hour can you go faster on those bikes yes you can go up to just with a little panel and I'm gonna show you that you can go up to the max in the state I think it's 25 or 28 don't quote me on that but you can go to that no problem just with the panel now, if the e-bike was manufactured and distributed outside the country, for example, I've got some bikes coming from the UK, from Australia, and other countries out there that I've received, I can actually, with just the panel, unlock it completely, because there is no max. So you're not changing states with your pad, with your little control panel. You're actually just going to the fastest setting, and if you can go 40, 45 miles an hour, depending on your motor, you could just fly on those e-bikes. So I love doing that. The other way to unlock it, if it is manufactured, distributed in the United States, is with a magnet, and you can just do a little magnet on the side here. There's other YouTube videos on how to do that. It is to, It takes a little bit more um, work to make that happen, but it basically tricks your back wheel from realizing it is going faster because it's the magnet is actually using your pedals. So as fast as your pedals are going is how it determines your speed. So you could throttle the heck out of it and just take off and not pedal. So that's just something to think about. If you want to go that route, there's lots of YouTube videos, and I might do one in the future. If you want, just comment down below, let me know, I'd be happy to do it. It does take a little bit. You'll have to get a strong magnet. You'll have to move something that is attached to your bike to a different location so that it registers your pedal, not the wheel spinning, if that makes any sense. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to really quickly get your bike from uh, 20 miles an hour up to whatever the max is, I think 28 miles an hour, on today's video and this works for just about any panel even if it looks different than the one I'm sharing with you it's pretty simple to do so we're going to talk about it and share it with you come on over here let's look at the panel all right everybody I got you on a body cam so you can get a close look again there is the new bike and there is the old bike so now this limiter goes both ways so if you got an e-bike for a small child um, or a teenager and you only want them to go so fast this is a cool trick also because we can lower it so this is the one that is unlocked already. Let me show you how fast I can get this thing going. I think it set for 25 right now is the max on this bike, but let's go ahead and do it and take a look. As you can see, 25 miles an hour, you can go on this bike. Now what I did was I lowered all the settings on this bike because I want to show you, we can actually get this thing as low as six miles per hour. Check it out. It is only going, can you see that? Six miles per hour. So what we're going to do now is I'm gonna show you um, how I did that and how I can unlock it to go faster. So what you're going to wanna to do is you're gonna go into settings. To get into settings, you're gonna hold both of these down right here. And again, this is a slightly different maybe on your bike, but the process is the same. So hold those two down for just a few seconds. You'll get into the settings menu, which looks just like that. And in that settings menu, you're gonna have all these different settings. So what you're going to do to raise it is you're just gonna go as high as you can on every setting. So see that number at the bottom there? 
we're gonna just bring that all the way up. So then you go to the next one. You're gonna do it with every one because you don't know what your state code is. Nobody really knows that. So we're just gonna raise everything up. We'll see if we can get this thing up to 25 miles an hour. Now this one I tested right when I first got it. It actually was regulated to 18 because some states in the United States without a special license, you can only go 18 miles an hour. So uh, that's what it was set at. So I lowered it to six, which you can do the same thing just by going down on every one of these settings. And it will go as low as six miles per hour. So we're just gonna raise all of these as high as we can. I apologize if I'm a little out of breath. It is really cold. It's actually snowing outside here right now, which is crazy because it's the middle of March, but it is really, really cold. So I'm in the garage with a heater going, not helping. It's definitely below freezing out. So as you can see, I'm literally going through every one of these settings and raising it as high as it will go. And it just, just takes a few seconds here, as you can see, we're just raising them all. But once we do all of this, we're gonna be able to get this thing going fast. This P14 seems to be the one that is the most important for getting it up there. So we're gonna make sure this one goes all the way up. 31.5, 39 is the highest on that. Mile, yep, and then we're gonna keep going. One is highest on that. One again, one again, and then right back to the beginning. Make sure that's up to three levels. And there we go. So what we're gonna do now is some of them you have to hold it again to save it. And this one, you just have to let it time out and it will automatically save it. If you turn it off, it won't save. So keep that in mind. So again, we're on level three, but now we can actually go all the way up to nine, as you can see right there. Okay, so now let's test this bike that, as you saw, only went six miles an hour before, 18 out of the box, and now we're gonna go ahead and test it. I can feel the wind on the wheel right now while I'm holding this, but can you see that okay? 25 miles per hour, we'll let that go. And with some e-bikes, you do have to start pedaling before you can accelerate, which is what I had to do, which is why I'm kind of shaky uh, when I'm doing this, but as you can see, I was able to unlock it, no problem whatsoever. It didn't take too long. I just wanted to share with you really fast how you can unlock the limiter on these bikes. Now, don't forget, on some of those bikes, you can go all the way up to 40, 45 miles an hour just by changing the panel, no magnets needed. But if you do wanna see the magnet method, I do have it on my video, it is private. If you are subscribed to the channel, I will send you the link to that. So make sure you do subscribe. I will be unlocking other bikes and also show you all kinds of tips, tricks, on e-bikes on this channel. Not just e-bikes, but drones, anything fun, anything sports related I'll be doing. So if you like this kind of content and you wanna see more, make sure you do subscribe. Thanks everybody, bye.